Hello, my name is Katherine Walls. I am a prospective design and technical theater student, and I am excited to be eligible for the Burnett Hobgood Theater Scholarship. Today I will be discussing a particular piece from the portfolio I submitted on the accepted platform. The piece was a multi-step process spanning over the course of a few days. Firstly, I had to paint the canvas completely white as a base layer before I could continue. I purchased a foam head and a model hand from a craft store to begin my work. Next, I used aluminum foil and masking tape to create a pseudo mold of the head and hand before making paper mache out of newspaper. I used the paper mache to top off what I had already done with aluminum foil and tape to smooth and round out the face as best I could. Continuing on, once the paper mache was dry, I took air dry clay and began to create the facial features of the face. I used my own eyes and mouth as a reference and the nose was an acclimage of different features. Once the clay was dry, I went back over the paper mache head and hand and then painting them white to give the effect of a marble. Next, I wanted the piece to look as though it had been sitting in nature and was being deteriorated by moss and leaves. To achieve the mossy effect, I used acrylic paint of greens, browns, and yellows to attempt to give my pseudo moss some life to contrast lack of life in the head and hand. I also took some fake vines purchased at the craft store and glued them around the base of the head and the crown of the head. I was also inspired by pictures I had come across on Pinterest of head and body molds protruding from mirrors. I liked the effect and decided that I would try to recreate it on a canvas, using paper mache again to create an effect as though the sculpture was stretching out of the canvas and I also painted it white to match the background. Overall, I am very proud of my work. Creating this piece took much trial and error and I am proud to say that my work is satisfactory. Though if I were to go back and recreate this piece again, I would probably try to make a more realistic moss out of a different material and make the paper mache sculpture a standalone piece rather than adhering it to a canvas. Thank you again for your time and consideration. I am very grateful to be eligible for the Burnett Hobgood Scholarship.